David here with Fake Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Uh, today I have for you something I find to be very special. Uh, it's a pen that I didn't think I was ever going to review, mainly because it's a limited edition pen that sold out rather quickly. While I feel it's a very cool pen, I debated whether or not to do a review of something that really wasn't even available to purchase. However, I recently found out that there will be a limited quantity of these pens being made available in the near future, so it gave me a reason to do this review. Uh, I'll let you know details of how you can get on the waitlist for this pen near the end of this review after I've had a chance to show you the details of, like I said, what I feel is a pretty cool pen. Uh, this is a pen from the Japanese brand Watcher, and it is called the Japan Blue. Uh, the pen was actually created in a partnership between four different companies, and I'll discuss more about that here in a bit. Uh, what I'm going to do is talk about the unique parts and features of the Japan Blue, discuss what I care for and what I don't care for, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Uh, and then, just as a point of reference, uh, this is a pen from my personal collection for which I paid full retail price. The pen arrives in this rather unique box. Uh, there is a band here that says Japan Blue Fountain Pen and Oida Made. Uh, that slides off, and underneath we have the pen. Um, this is the Wancher Japan Blue. Uh, as mentioned before, this pen represents a partnership between four companies, uh, Wancher, Sailor, and then two other Japanese companies, Oida Made and Nagio Seishakujo. Uh, and as you can see here, the Japan Blue is larger than the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, and then slightly larger than the standard Pro Gear. The indigo cap and barrel are hammered aluminum. Uh, it's a mesmerizing effect. Uh, the Japanese traditional hammering technique is called tankin, uh, and it was a technique that back in the day was used to create the guards on traditional samurai swords. Now, this indigo coloring for the metal is interesting. Uh, flower buds from indigo trees are harvested and then used as material during an anodization process. Uh, it creates a tough and durable finish that's very beautiful. Uh, when you take a look at this pen in the light, the colors really can mix and change a bit as the light hits it differently. Um, let's start by taking a look at the cap of this pen. The finial resembles that of a Sailor Pro Gear, but it's larger in diameter, even of the uh, King of Pen Pro Gear. Uh, it's flat and inlaid with the Sailor Anchor logo medallion. The finial transitions to an angle silver colored band, which serves to lessen the necessary step up to the hammered aluminum cap. The cap is straight, uh, it is clipless, and then it transitions to this rather unique cap band which is engraved on one side with Japan Blue and on the other with Oida Made. There is a rather large step down to the barrel which is lessened by the slope of the cap band. Uh, then the barrel is straight until you reach the end where there is another silver colored piece which serves as a part of the capping mechanism. Then on the end of the barrel there is a longer resin piece with rounded edges and a flat top. The cap unscrews to reveal this very nice Sailor 14 karat gold nib. Uh, the nib is slightly smaller than those found on a Sailor Pro Gear, uh, and it's the same size as you'll find on the Sailor 1911 standard. Uh, Wancher's site says that this pen is available in medium and fine. Uh, the medium I received was a hard medium. I'm unsure if the fine nibs are also hard fine. And then here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a slight flare. Uh, this resin section is identical to what is found on a standard Pro Gear. Uh, it angles up just slightly, only about a millimeter from beginning to end. There is a band which is part of the interior section, and then there are the threads, which I don't find to be sharp at all. Uh, the threads don't extend all the way to the barrel, and then there is an angled metal piece which serves to ease the minor step up from the resin section to the aluminum of the barrel. Uh, while the Japan Blue isn't the longest pen, I do find it to be very comfortable in the hand and long enough to use unposted. I do kind of wish it was slightly longer, maybe about a quarter of an inch or so. Uh, I really enjoy the feeling of this hammered aluminum against my hand. Uh, at first, it's a bit cool to the touch, but during longer writing sessions, the pen will actually warm up a bit the more that you handle it. 
Uh, the Wancher Japan Blue does post, and interestingly enough, it has a snap to post mechanism. And it works very well and provides a very satisfying posting experience. Uh, it's kind of funny because a lot of times we talk about a pen with a satisfying capping experience. I can't remember ever discussing a satisfying posting experience, but this pen definitely has one. Uh, and though even though the cap is aluminum, I don't find it to be overly heavy. So in my experience, posting the cap doesn't throw off the balance of the pen or back weighted. The Japan Blue is a cartridge converter pen. It does come with a proprietary Sailor converter and two Sailor black ink, ink cartridges are included with this pen as well. The Wancher Japan Blue is not an inexpensive pen. Uh, it retails for $490. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did purchase this pen for myself at full retail price and I have not regretted it at all. Uh, I feel the value is here with this pen. Um, I love the looks. I love the unique take on the Sailor Pro Gear design. Uh, the Sailor nibs are outstanding and uh, these pens are somewhat hard to come by. Uh, there is a lot to love about this Japan Blue model. Uh, there is a demand for this pen. I, I was curious to see if any had sold on secondary markets, and I did find one on eBay which recently actually sold for $675. Now, by no means does that guarantee you can turn around and sell your pen for a profit, but it just gives you the idea of uh, what the demand for it might be. Now. I mentioned the new availability of this pen at the top of this review. Uh, Wancher has a brand new batch of these pens arriving in the very near future. I, I believe it's around 30 or 35 pens, so not that many. And they're scheduled to arrive right at the beginning of September. Um, most of these are being sold in the Japanese market uh, and they have already been spoken for, but they will have approximately 10 to 15 units available to purchase outside of Japan. Uh, if you are interested in potentially purchasing one of these pens, what you'll need to do is go to their webpage uh, where on the Wancher site uh, you can find the page for this pen. I'll actually put a link to it in the notes below. If you scroll down, there's a place for you to enter your email address to be notified when the pen is back in stock. Uh, when they have stock, they will be notifying people directly. Uh, if you are one of the first 10 or 15 people or so to register, then you will be emailed with the information on how you will be able to purchase one. Uh, they are currently not planning to make these pens available on their site directly. Now, whenever I'm at a pen show, I carry one pen in my pocket that's new or interesting. And when I talk with friends or folks that come up and say hi, then I'll pull that pen out. Just a little fun show and tell and a conversation starter. Uh, for example, at the recent DC show, I carried around my newly acquired Namiki Emperor. But for the last couple of shows, I've carried around this pen. Uh, it's one of those pens that kind of stops people in their tracks. Uh, they look at it and are instantly intrigued. Uh, it's a pen that folks don't just look at, they examine. Uh, I just love it. And I hope that a few of you out there are able to pick one of them up for yourselves. Uh, I honestly don't feel that you'll be disappointed. So now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Wancher Japan Blue. Uh, here it is with a standard Sailor Pro Gear. Uh, here it is with a Sailor Pro Gear 2. Uh, and then here it is with a Sailor King of Pen Pro Gear Sky. And in regard to a few other blue pens, uh, here it is with a Pilot Vanishing Point with a blue finish. Then here it is with a uh, Platinum 3776 Chartres Blue. Uh, and then here it is with a Lamy All-Star in blue. So here we go with the writing sample for the Wancher Japan Blue. This is a hard medium, 14 karat gold nib. Uh, and the ink that I'm using today is one that actually showed up in the mail today, which is KWZ Sheen Machine. Uh, 
this is what it looks like. It is a, a relatively new KWZ ink, and with a name like Sheen Machine, it better have some sheen to it. And as you can see here, it does have quite a bit of sheen to it. Kind of a, a nice reddish sheen to it. Something very similar to something I looked at last week, which was the, the Vinta Blue Blood. Uh, very similar sheen to that. Uh, and then here's what it looks like in regard to the Ackerman Shocking Blue, which has a little more subdued sheen, but still uh, a decent amount. Uh, and then this is what the bottle looks like. It's the standard KWZ bottles uh, and a nice interesting uh, logo on here that says Sheen Machine. So now let's take a look at the rest of the writing sample. Uh, this Sailor Hard Medium Nib is fantastic. Sailor Nibs are some of my favorites. Um, like I mentioned that this is a hard medium, I kind of prefer the, the, the standard mediums a little bit more than the hard ones, but uh, still this nib performs very, very well. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's buttery smooth. You can get a little bit of line variation out of here, um, but it's something that has a bit of precision to it, as opposed to just, like I said, sheer buttery smoothness. Uh, in regard to ink flow, it does very well. And in regard to reverse writing, it's a little scratchy, but it does do a good job with that. And in regard to some fast writing, there's no issue whatsoever. Uh, and I will say that, uh, at least on this page right now, you really can't get a good effect of this Sheen ink, but I was using it earlier today, uh, and it does lay down a, a decent Sheen on here. It's a very saturated ink. Uh, I'm looking forward to kind of taking a closer look at it. But in regard to the pen, uh, this is the Wancher Japan Blue. It's something that I was very excited about when I bought, and uh, like I mentioned before, I really wasn't going to review it because it wasn't available, and the only reason we're talking about it is because there are going to be some available uh, to a, a few lucky few people, and I hope that if it's something you're interested in, then you're able to pick one up because I honestly don't think you'll be disappointed if you get your hands on one of these. It's something I've really enjoyed. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.